Hi, everybody. Welcome to another 10 minute tip with me, Michael Hoffman from the OSINT Curious Project. Today, we're going to cover one of the tools that I love. Um, in my previous life, I was a penetration tester, I did cybersecurity assessments, and my customers always would come up to me and go, Well, you found this vulnerability, but so what? Tell me what it means. How, why do I care? And so I carried, as I went into OSINT, I carried that that I have to demonstrate my, the impact of what I'm reporting with me in all of my work. And one day I saw a person tweeting out, hey, I got this badge for drinking the most porters in this country or this city. And, and I was like, what? What are they doing? Are they they're sharing their drinking behavior with me? And sure enough, it was the case. So I wrote a tool and I want to introduce it to you here and a quick kind of fun uh, 10 minute tip. I have a blog post, the URL is right here, webreacher.com, and it's called Watching You Drink Beer. It all took place on the untapped.com website. Now, if you search untapped, I just earned on Google or DuckDuckGo or Bing, uh, using the, the uh, string that I show you there, you see 79,000 people that have tweeted out, I just earned the something, I earned this badge or that badge. And these are people that have tied their untapped beer drinking user account to Twitter. So if we look at someone, I'm just going to pull up some random people here. I hope this is not too sensitive. Um, this is what it looks like untapped. And we'll go over there in just a second. It says, Hey, I just earned the elite badge. Ooh, click on this. Well, let's click on stuff. This is Bill S and he unlocked 2,500 beers logged. Now we have to, Oh, distinct beers. Ooh. And we have to separate some information from, um, we have to look at this a little deeper. This website, untapped.com, is a site where people can note that they have drank certain beers. Now, we don't know if they actually ever drank any of these beers, and but, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting what we can find. And I'm going to show you the impact of what this is. Let's go ahead and click on Bill S.'s profile. I'm going to hit, I agree there. Look at that. Bill S in Escondido has logged over 8,200 total beers and 6,500 unique ones. So what, what does this matter? Well, uh, let's take a look at why it matters because each of the beers that Bill logs on his profile here uh, is published to the internet. Now this information here, I didn't authenticate, I haven't signed in, uh, and each one of these beers is tagged with who he is, what he says he drank, wh who makes that, where he is, and also uh, when, sometimes also with who. So this information can be very, very helpful to us. Over here, we have the top venues that he drank at or he reportedly drinks at, what he likes. We can also um, look at his friends. So let's take a look at friends. Here are the, his friends. We can sort his friends by, let's see, name ascending. He's got 22,000 friends. So what I started doing is looking at this from a, a collections perspective and going, well, could I grab these beers? Could I could I take these URLs like untap.com user Dr. Bill friends and and go ahead and collect it and do something interesting with it? The answer is yes. Let me show you. So again, all of this is kind of laid out for you in the blog post here and I show you this little tool that I made. It's available on my GitHub and this tool will grab information from an account on untapped and it'll do some analysis and show you now i'm here in my just default windows system i'm going to use the um windows sub uh, the linux subsystem here so that we can just do some things i'm gonna i already have the tool downloaded uh, in another one of the videos i showed you how to use the git tools to download it and we've got the tools right here now an interesting thing it, you see this geocode API keys. If you have a API key to Google or to Bing, you can then do geocoding. 
of the information that comes back. And that's kind of cool too. I'll show you that too. All right, let's get into this. So what do we do? It's a Python 3 tool. So we say Python 3 run untapped, pass the username, Dr. Bill. Now what this does is it goes out to the website, pulls the data that we were just looking at, but it pulls it via Python instead of a regular web browser. And let's scroll up to the top and see what it looks like. Now we saw this data here from untapped.com user Dr. Bill, 8,200 beers, 6,500 unique. Here's those friends. Here's the friends. You can see that this is not 22,000 of them. It's just his top friends. Then what I've done is I've started analyzing the last 25 beers that this user logged. And you can get that information from user Dr. Bill beers and then pull out the date and the time when they were recorded. Again, we have no idea when the person drank the beers or even if they drank the beers, but this is just when they were logged. So check this out. Day of the week, the last 25 beers that were logged, most of them were on Saturday. Well, let's see what time. Ooh, three o'clock, and this is localized to the user. So three o'clock in the afternoon, uh, he drank a lot of, or he logged a lot of beers. And then we also have the day of the month. Look at this, 13 beers logged on the 9th. Interesting. Now for this user, we might go back in time and look at their profile and see what happened on the 9th, whatever this, so this is, we're in the April, in April right now, 2019. So I'd go back to April 9th, 2013, uh, 2019 and look at, was there a beer drinking event or a party that he went to or some, some tasting. So let's uh, scroll down here and see what else. Now, since we have so many beers drank on one day, the script says, well, this person might be a binge drinker. Let's look at the times that they, he logged it. And sure enough, if you look at this 1529, 1516, there's only 13 minutes in between that and 1542, 1541, 1545. So this is really interesting that the times when this was logged, it was probably a, a beer tasting maybe or some kind of other event because these times are really close together. Or Dr. Bill saves up all of his beers that he's drank or wants to log for a certain day and just enters them in. Now, what we can also do is look at the places where this user has checked in or has said that they drank the beers. You go to this URL right here. You see that we're sorting by highest check-in. They've got 1,506 check-ins at the cellar and 328 at Stone Brewing World. Now, what we can do here is if we have those geocoding API keys for Google or Bing, then this script will automatically go ahead and uh, geocode these addresses. So Stone Brewing World at 1999 Citr uh, Citricado Parkway in Escondido, we can geocode that address to a latitude and longitude. Then we can plot these on a map. Now, I don't have this on this system, but let me show you some that I've already worked on. Let's take a look at this one. Now, I've gone ahead and looked up this user named Van Beers. Can you tell me what country this person probably lives or works in? Yeah, of course. This little heat map here shows where they've logged their beers. And if we go ahead and zoom in even further, we can see the heat, according to the heat map, most of the beers are over here. We've got 14 beers at Arigato Sushi. We've got nine beers at Ware. We've got 11 beers over here. So using this tool, we can sometimes kind of geo, geolocate where a user might be operating. Here's another person. This is Dan underscore N-I-B-E. And again, it's really easy to see where this person logs most of their beers. If you look here, we can see that there's really two different sections, right? Oh, wow. Really bright one up here. 1,544 beers logged at Ellsworth's, Iowa. There, we have other beers logged here, 27. And then down here in Des Moines, there's 10. There's a whole bunch in just this little area here. 
and we can investigate this area. We could even dig deeper into this in this user and see if maybe they live or work in Des Moines or more likely up here where they've got the 1500 beers. Let's see, where was it? Eight and eight. Let's see, where's the 1500? There it is, Ellsworth. So that's the tool, that's how to use it. I'm out of time. Have fun, demonstrate impact, and enjoy. Until next time, stay and curious. I'm Michael Hoffman.